Good morning. I am Vedraj, Associate Professor, Department of Computer Science Engineering, RMD Engineering College. Now we are going to discussing about the Unified Process Model, UPM. What is Unified Process Model? A software development process describes the approach to building, a, deploying and possibly maintaining a software. The unified process has emerged as a popular iterative software development process for building the object-oriented system. This is very important for why we are go for unified process to build object-oriented system. This model is also called as Rational Unified Process, RUP. This unified process model is also called as Rational Unified Process Model. What are the various characteristics of unified process model? There are four important characteristics of unified process model. The first characteristic is called as iterative and incremental. Why it is called as iterative and incremental? In this life cycle approach, the complete software development is organized into series of short fixed length mini project. That mini project is called as iteration. Each iteration includes its own requirement analysis, design, implementation and testing activities. Each iteration results in increment, which is the release of system that contain added or improved functionality compared with the previous release. So it is called as iterative and incremental. Why it is called as iterative? The complete software development is organized into series of short fixed length mini project and mini project is called as the iteration. Why it is called as incremental? Every iteration result is an improved functionality compared with the previous release. So it is called as incremental. The second important feature is risk focused. This is also very important characteristics. The unified process required project team to focus on addressing most critical risk early in the project life. So before you are developing the project, all the possible issues are identified and addressed. That is called as risk focused. What do you mean by use case driven? It is also one of the important characteristics of unified process model. In the unified process, use cases are used to, to capture the functional requirements and define the content of the iteration. Just in this uh, use case driven is mainly used to, to capture the functional requirement from the customer. Okay, next one is architecture centric. Why this unified process model is called as the architecture centric? Because since no single model is sufficient to cover all the aspect of the system, the unified process support multiple architectural model and views. One of the important deliver of the process is executable architecture baseline, which is created during the elaboration phase. Okay, so there are four important characteristics supported by unified process model one is iterative and incremental second one is risk focus third one is use case drive and fourth one is architecture centric the next important thing is what are the different phases of unified process see the unified process divide the project into four phases number one inception phase number two elaboration phase number three construction phase number four transition phase okay now we are going to see one by one what you mean by inception phase see the inception phase is the smallest phase in your project see what is the, uh, what are the activities we are doing in inception phase? The first one is approximate vision is defined. Okay, what is the objective? Okay, that is defined in approximate vision. Business case. Okay, uh, third one is we are defining the scope of the project. What is the input? What is the output? Vague estimate, the rough estimate of uh, project resources. Okay, then what are the budgets? Everything decided in this phase. So the inception phase, we are concentrating only on approximate vision is designed. Um, business case uh, establish the project scope and vague estimate of cost okay uh, during the elaboration phase um, we are going to 
uh define refined vision this is this is this is a complete final vision is defined in this phase next all the core architectures are designed in this phase and uh, the high risk are identified and addressed in this phase okay identification of most requirement and scope what is the input and what is the output is defined more realistic estimate see, see during the inception phase we are rough estimate okay in during the elaboration phase the realistic estimate estimate is uh, defined okay the third one is the construction phase okay what do you mean by construction phase the analysis and design activities that are started in the elaboration phases are completed in this phase the source code is developed this is very important what we are doing in construction phase the source code is developed which implement all the desired functionalities okay see the iterative implementation of the remaining lower risk and easier element the preparation of deployment is done in this phase okay the next phase is called as the transition phase in this transition phase all the activities that are required at the time of deployment of software product are carried out transition is nothing but just we are delivering a product to the customer during the delivery the beta testing is conducted when the software is delivered to the end user okay then uh user feedback is collected based on the user feedback all the defects from the created systems are removed finally the software team prepare a user manual and installation guides and troubleshooting procedure this make the software more usable at the time of release okay see this is the four important phases of unified process model inception phase approximate vision business case projects scope and vague estimates is defined elaboration phase the refined vision core architecture resolution of i risk realistic estimate is defined construction we are developing the source code transition we are moving a product to customer beta testing is carried out uh, based on the user feedback all the defects are removed from the system finally the user manual is prepared and it is delivered to the customer okay these are the very important concept what is up discipline see the up discipline is nothing but a set of activities that are required for designing the software system what are the activities the first activity is several discipline in up following are some of the important up discipline the first one is the business modeling the graphical representation is created to represent the concept okay this is very important business modeling just the pictorial representation is created for concept okay requirement analysis see in this requirement analysis phase both functional and non functional requirement are gathered from the customer okay captured okay it is captured functional and non functional requirement are captured in this discipline okay by creating some specific type of model design all aspect of design including the overall architecture object database networking all are designed in this phase implementation the source code is created for implementing the system okay uh, implementation we are creating the source code uh, thank you students